Hey, it's Madison and Carrie. Welcome back to another video. And today she's going to do the counters. Paint the counters. Mm -hmm. She's gonna do in these counters, you know. Got nothing else to say. That's it. Pretty much she's already painted painting, it. painting the counters to look like granite. I've watched some videos online, it looks really easy. I've already put a base coat down of the kilts. Now you have to start with the kilts original, and it has to be oil based interior because it's in the kitchen and you're gonna put water on it. If it was the bathroom, it would be oil based. So, pretty much I already painted the countertops to save some time on the video. Now we get, I got these at Walmart for like 97 cents. They're just little throwaway pans. And the roller has to be a sponge roller because you don't want any creases in your paint. See it, it, how smooth it is. There's not a lot of, there's not lines, things like that. It needs to be the good, and it needs to be for smooth surfaces because it's your countertop. So, and then I put up the painter's tape so I wouldn't get it on the wall. I'm not really concerned because I'm gonna be doing a DIY backsplash that I'm gonna be getting soon from probably eBay or Amazon. I got these crafter sponges because they have the holes in the sponges and that's going to create the blotch effect that granite has. I have some flowers in my kitchen, so I chose a lot of natural earth tones. So I got burnt umber brown, beach comber beige, which is really, it's kind of like a creamier, creamer, creamer coffee. Uh, black, because granite has black in it, but I don't really want too much black. So we're just going to find out how that is. And if there's Guys, okay, if there's too much black and you do too much, you just go back over, choose whatever color you want the most of, and you just blotch over the black. So, these are the colors. It's pretty easy. You just put it in, and, and it's just styrofoam plates. This is nothing expensive. You know, you don't have to spend a tremendous amount. We were gonna replace the countertops, and they were really expensive at Lowe's. So when I saw this, it was kind of like a DIY project. It was like under $50 for everything, which is really good. So, and it's something I can do by myself. There's no cutting, no measuring, things like that. I mean, this is like adult proof, I can't get it off. Okay, and I know I should have gotten these off before the video, but I'm not always the most prepared. That's already off. Okay, when you get done doing your countertops, you're gonna to need to cover it with polyurethane, and that provides a clean satin. It's clear, so it provides that gloss shine that granite has, and it also seals in your paint. That way you can, you know, use your countertops, cut on it. It should be kind of scratch resistant, but I'll still use a cutting board, things like that. The paint, the kilts, is still wet, and we're kind of being hasty to put on the colors because we want that kind of mixed color that marble has. So, joking, of course. So, that's why I didn't have a seal on the lid, that makes sense. I'm gonna be doing a lot of DIY projects while my husband's deployed because it keeps me busy and it's stuff I've been wanting to do without the fussing and you know, things like that. Well, I can take my time. If I mess up and have to redo it, he'll never know. So when he gets home, he'll think, oh, I'm a pro, I did all this. It looks great, I didn't mess up. And hopefully I don't mess up. The lady that did this, I watched a video, she did it, she made it look really easy. She said, you know, she's no artist and things like that, and there's basically, 
no way you can mess up on this at all. So I'm just going by that and then we'll just go from there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put one sponge per color. Okay, so we come over to the countertops. It's still kind of wet and I want it like that. Now I'm going to dab this in. I'm going to kind of, now I'm just going to make little blotchy patterns. I was going to say, don't get on this counter with that pretty dress. And I still want some of the white to show. So I'm not going to like completely cover it. And it's okay if some of them are dark, some of them are light. That's okay. It does not have to be perfect. There's no real way to mess this up. You just want to blotch around. And do you see how the holes in the sponge are just making that real pretty pattern? If I see blank spots, I'll just go over. Do you see how when it's wet, it kind of gives that mixed effect? And this is just acrylic paint that I got from Walmart in the small tubes. It's like 97 cents. Of course, I have a large cabinet over here. So when I do the big cabinet, I'll probably have to get some more. But guys, it's like, it's 97 cents. So it's not that expensive at Walmart. Kind of try to get in the cracks a little. The lady that I watched got it like some big sponges from like the, I think she said the dollar store. I now I don't know if she meant the Dollar Tree or Dollar General. I looked at Dollar General, I couldn't find them. They were big round sponges and she took her scissors and she like cut holes out of them. And this, I mean, it's happening, it's starting to cover pretty fast. Now, even though that's blended and it's in a big blotch over here, I'm not really concerned about it because I'm gonna be blotching over this with another color. So, you know, you have four colors to go through. So you're gonna start, it's gonna start filling up pretty quick. This is a weekend project. It's not gonna take that long to do. It doesn't matter if it smears a little. She said there's really no way to mess this up. It's starting to get covered. And I'm thinking it's gonna look really nice. Just blotch it on the sides, just anywhere. That granite kind of has the little, it's just kind of like they dropped paint all over it, you know, and uh, just blotched everywhere. Now that kilts is drying pretty fast. So that's why I was trying to be pretty fast about putting it on. Now see, I'm just making little blotches everywhere. Now this is drying really fast. I don't know if I got the quick dry, but it's drying pretty quick. So I'm trying to, you know, have the blotches. These sponges are small, but it's Sunday. Hobby Lobby isn't open on Sundays, and I know I chose to do it on a Sunday, but I'm just following the line trying to blotch, starting a little bit on the edge, just go in another line. You know, the pattern that you do this is completely up to you. So I'll just start in the edge. And that, that little, that doesn't really matter because remember, we still have four different colors. This is one of four colors I chose. And I got a big one of the brown because it's going to be my under base coat. So, and you, you can see it's only been, what's it been like, see, two or three minutes? Yeah, it's been like two or three minutes since you did the paint. And the, it's, well, it's kind of sticky, which is good because it's going to keep that paint on there. But it's drying very quickly. And now this cabinet's filling up. That looks really good. See, I'm getting pretty close to the end. 
just making the patterns. I'm going to end with the black, even though I don't want a lot of black. But if there's more black than I want, I'll just take that lighter coffee cream, like I called it, and I'll just go over it. The countertop is already filling up pretty quick. Now, the polyurethane, it's going to take it 24 hours to dry. So, you want to make sure, which we're probably not going to be cooking in here tonight, we're probably just going to be going out, because I don't want to mess this up. I want to give it a complete 24 hours to dry. I don't want it to, there we go. See that, just that little, don't that, isn't that starting to look good? Mm-hmm. You think it's going to look good? Yeah. Put a little, see, see how I missed a couple of spots over here. I just go and blotch and blotch. It's kind of starting to come together, and this is only the first color. I'm just barely touching it. I'm just more or less like trampolining, bouncing. <coughs> On the curves, it's kind of a little more than I would like, but I'm gonna go over that with a different color. Just kind of there. The more you do it, now see how that's kind of like a big blouse, and I'm getting better at just blotching it around the curves. So the more you do it, the better you're going to get. Just kind of blotch that. And it's all getting covered pretty quickly. Where I'm almost ready to start on another color. Kind of try to get that in that crack. I don't want it completely covered. There's no right way, no wrong way to do this. You can't mess it up. See, I missed it. Just blotch. Um, you see if you miss spots, just little blotches. I think that looks better than that big splotch. I'm going to fix that with the other lighter color and I'll just blotch over it. There's no massive pattern because got granite does not really have a pattern some of these blotches look like little doggy paws really cute just go down how long has it taken me to cover this cabinet because just well, maybe five minutes not um, that much. Yeah, five and seven minutes. That's not that bad. We're still learning how to do YouTube videos. So the first video I did when I was doing the skills, we tried to pause it and it cut the video off. So I need some kind of video editor, but I'm new to this. So if you know of a video editor that's easy for an iPad, in the comments you can like put the link or tell me what it is and then I can start maybe editing the videos save some I think they starting to look really good over here yeah all those little blotches are just really coming together I'm just doing real quick kind of like tattoo real quick Dabbing. I mean, it, it is really almost dry. It's sticky too. Now that didn't take too long, and it's almost done. not take too long at all. Kind of 
and that one was right here. Just dab it really hard. Okay. See on these. Kind of just dab it. Sponge is kind of sticky and wet. It's a small sponge. I really wanted those bigger sponges that lady had. And I looked at the Dollar Tree. I looked everywhere. So maybe she lives in a different state. So her, maybe her Dollar Tree has more. Okay. What do you think I should go with next? I saw a spot. <laughs> what do you think I should go with next? The Only light or the this? that kind of like go from dark to lighter and then just a little black yeah. on the top. Okay. We'll do that. Now we'll go over the spots that I did like that. Now see how that cold like covers that little blur mess up a little bit. And now the lighter color will go over that. But I'll just kind of go like that. I think it I think it's gonna work out. This sponge is a little bit bigger, so I'm just going along the top. It's kind of like just blending over the top of it. See, I think that's gonna look really good. What do you think it's gonna start really blending in looking? I think it's already kind of looking like granite. You need to come over and do your mom's countertops. What does hers countertops look like? Uh -oh. Huh? We got a grandma house. Oh no. <laughs> we have to get her some into some DIY projects. Please no. <laughs> it's really sticking to the now that's taking even that's even faster because we already have the the undercoat yeah so i mean this is starting to really cover you still want some white shining through but i mean there ha there does not have to be a specific pattern to this see that's already that much what is this the, the caramel okay so this classic caramel is really pretty brown, and it's bringing out that dark brown, kind of just popping out from underneath there. Now, when we get all the colors on, we're gonna want to let this dry because we don't wanna put that polyurethane on when this is wet, or it'll just look like a smeared up mess. I'm going to do this. Go ahead and do the sides. I don't know how well the lighting is. I could have brought my good. studio lights in, but... Now remember, when I have the lighter brown, that's going to go, that creamy coffee creamer brown, that's going to go over this. There. I'm going to do all the edges first. That way I can... Go get to the see how it's kind of smearing it together in some spots and then when it smears it together it's making a different color brown so you're really going to end up having like four or five different browns well we have four already so really when it comes together in the spots that it's still kind of wet it's going to create a different color brown than what I bought. And this one, this second coat's going by really fast, either because I just did the first coat and got used to it, or because the first coat's already down, so there's not as much area to cover. Look at that. I think that is pretty. I'm going to try to get it in the cracks. We don't want to miss the curves. I don't 
don't know if it's because the sponge is thicker or I'm just using more because I, I don't want it to be so dark. I'll probably have to get at least three or four of the two for this to go because this countertop is it's huge. Yeah. It's big. It's got the hangover bar area. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I mean, guys, even if I have to get five tubes, what well, it's 97 cents a tube. And if you're not sure, or you can't remember what color you got, you just keep your tube, take it with you to Walmart, and then just match it up. You don't even have to go to Walmart. I, I wanted to go to Hobby Lobby because they have big, bigger sponges. They got bigger bottles of paint too. Yeah, but they're also more expensive. Yeah. But guys, if you get on like online on your phone, even at Hobby Lobby, you get on your phone at Hobby Lobby, they have a 40% off coupon, and you can use the 40% off coupon daily. If, if it's on one item, and you can use it daily to get 40% off. So if you're on a tight budget, but I mean, I just, it was Sunday. I think I got these on a weekday anyway, when when Walmart or, and Hobby Lobby was open, but I know Walmart's acrylic paint is cheaper. So I just went, it's 97 cents a tube and you can't go wrong. Even if you have to get five tubes, if you've got huge cabinets, it's $5. I mean, versus having to cut out your countertops, order countertops, measuring, and all the mess and hiring someone on top of that yeah I think I'll have to get more of that but I think I think it's really coming together really nice what do you think yeah I think it looks really good start you think it's gonna really start blending and looking like granite yeah you know what granite looks like don't you yeah okay kind of like a bunch of rocks mixed together yeah My husband's going to come home and he's, I did the bathroom, I painted the overhang of the house. He's going to really be like, uh, what happened? I can't believe it. This is really taking a lot of this too. I know, but I'm almost done. I just have that little square left. I think it's starting to look really good. <laughs> Laughing at <laughs> the fart sound. Look, I got and I got some nail polish. <laughs> so you really want to wear clothes that if you get them dirty, it doesn't matter. Because if you're anything like me, you're gonna get paint on them. That's just the way it is. I think the wetter this top coat is, like the dabbier. For some reason, this sponge, like the wetter the sponge is, the better blotches. I mean, look at that. Isn't that making better blotches when it's soaking wet? And I think that's why I'm using through all my paint, because I like it better with the blotches. What do you think? Yeah. Think that's good? Yeah. Okay, now, since we used a bunch of that, I already know, so I'm just going to go ahead and squirt a bunch of that. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> this sponge is kind of smaller, which I can look, I got a bunch of them. Walmart didn't really have that many artist sponges, but I mean, I could pull them all out. Ooh, that's if that's that, uh, no, kilts. There. Now for the black, I don't want a very big sponge, so... I'm probably going to trade one. it for that one. I'll need something I can hang on to like that. What do you think? That one. This one? You like that pattern? Yeah. Okay. Now, oh, I cannot believe how good this is starting to look. I went from darker. Looks good right here. Yeah. I went from. That's really pretty. 
I went from darker to lighter, which we started with white. You want that white undertone because you don't want it too dark. I mean, it's your kitchen. You don't want your kitchen really dark. So I'm going to do what I did with the other and just start on the back wall first. Blotch it. Look how that's mixing together, Lexi. It looks really good. I think, I mean, I'm really thinking there isn't a way you can mess up on it. If anybody can mess up, I can mess up. But so far, and the white coming through, I'm just kind of blotching. When we put that black on there, that's really going to top it off with that granite look. Look how that is on that top. Look how that did. Look at that. that. Huh? No, I didn't actually. You'll see. Lexi knows. No, it doesn't actually. Doesn't I look think that bad. It, it looks, looks really, really good. good. You'll see once I cover it with the other color. Do you know what green it looks like? Yes, Mom, I know what green it looks like. That just... I mean, if you like it, you like it. I think it's going to look really good. I think Don's going to react. Here he knows. I know, but how do you think he's going to react to it? Good. When you told him, it didn't seem like he was too happy about it. See? He was like, do whatever, whatever. See? You're on video, you know. Hello. I think it does look good with those blotches, see? There is no wrong way. Okay. For granite. Granite is just like four or five different colors just blotched together. What does it go with our kitchen? Uh, our kitchen is sunflowers. Actually, we'll go with the kitchen. All the other counters are done. Thank you. I'm gonna come in here tomorrow really morning good. and see that, and I'm gonna freak out. Cause <laughs> you're gonna be at work tomorrow, right? I'm gonna yeah. be home alone or tomorrow on Monday. Yeah, I'm with Madison. I'm gonna come in the kitchen and eat breakfast. I'm gonna see that and I'm gonna flip out. Madison will probably go with her. Probably. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. I think that's starting to really mix together really good. Now I'm not gonna do no. as much. Hey, okay, is Sharon coming up to work? Don't know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Has she been there? Really? Yeah. Uh -huh. Is she doing good? Mm, minute by minute. think so. Do you think so? I said I feel terrible. Oh. I, thought you said, <laughs> I thought you said looks terrible. I'm said, like, no, it don't. I feel bad for her. Oh, yeah, I feel terrible for her. I was like, I don't think so. Hey, at least she's learning. She's keeping the shop open. A lot of people in this town you need, need some more dark on the other side. Huh? It just bothers me really bad. What are you talking about? You need some dark right I'm there. I'm putting it over. Oh, no. Oh. Point at it. I need to wear your paint right now on that bottom. <laughs> right here, Mom. Point at right it. Right here. It just needs some more dark. It's just really. Well, then you just go like this. Look. Look. Actually, that doesn't look too bad. From where I'm sitting down, it just looks bad. See? Just go over it. That's not where. That's Wait. not where the point <laughs> is. Right there. <laughs> Like on this area, right there too. Boom. There you go. Boom. There's, if you miss a spot, I mean it's blotched. You can always go over your spots. I'm going to message you like crazy. Somebody about that wreath. I'm going to. Uh, wreath? I bet. I don't know. Or Probably about that car Sharon's selling. Carolyn, see you in Snapchat too. You got a message. Oh, oh straight talk. I'm videoing you. Oh, yeah. That I added air time. See, now from where you were standing. Sheena, see you Snapchat, new chat. She said cool, from whatever you said. Carolyn sent this now, let's open it. I said I was fake granite painting my countertops. Dogs. See, now you got up and stood over she here. She poop in the living room. That's Tabby's dog. <laughs> oh. It's about the dog. Oh. <gasps> 
It's acrylic, it'll come off. Didn't happen. <laughs> totally didn't get that on camera. Didn't get it. See that white? I think it's really... I think it looks good. I think it's bringing a lightness to it. That's... Because I'm going to need that when I put the black on. Now, I'm not going to do a lot of black. Just a couple of blotches here and there. But as it is already, I don't even really have to do the black. But real granite does have, have black, black in it. It does. So you want it to look as real as possible. What do you guys think? I think it looks really Messenger. good. Messenger. You think any spots on this? Or exactly no, just it cracks. It'll work with that. With like the light, the next color. Oh. oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, the next color will be black. Do you the have next a measurement? Color. Yeah, we'll leave black. Huh? What measurement? Extra large doll crate. Oh, yeah. It's not for sale. because It's for the new puppy! Oh, when are they coming? Can say that? It's born, it's getting born, uh, hopefully July 11th, but she'll have to hang on to it for a little bit because it'll be on the cruise ship when we're ready to get it. Yeah. So, and I'm going to enjoy the cruise, but I want the puppy. I've never been on the cruise. Ever. I'm so okay, now, see, now I'm just really kind of doing the slapping mix. And then the girl with the roof, or the winter's roof frame. Room. What do you think, so? I think it looks oh, good. The, I think it looks really good. In those mixed areas, she okay. said, how long Maybe does it take you to make a wreath? Maybe just hit that back corner and finish the fridge real quick. Yeah, right there. It. Yeah. Just up that whole little side. Oh, yeah, I see what you're talking about. I think we need some brown there, too. Yeah, probably just a little okay. bit. And the caramel. So, yeah. Yeah, I did completely miss that side. I mean, it's so easy. If you miss, you can just always see. Look. Look how that did. And then the caramel. And, and the caramel. Yeah. If you can get into that. <laughs> yeah. It don't need much. It's just Carver's a little. in Washington, D.C. right now. Yeah, I know. Now, see? Looks good. Okay, now we're going to do our black. Did you see the picture? It's a jewelry. Yeah. So, we're just going to do a little bit of black. See? See how that black adds to the, the granite effect? I'm just going to blotch it around, not very much, but, no. Lexi, I think this is going to look good. What do you think? Mm -hmm. See how that adds to that granite look? Yeah. And it's not too much, it's just going to be a little here and there. I'm trying to space it out. I'm doing dark blotches, lighter blotches. Some there. But it adds to that granite effect. And there is no pattern to this. I'm, you guys saw how I just blotched it together. This whole countertop, how long has it taken me, Lexi? It's 34 minutes so far. The whole video is only 34 yeah. minutes long, and that's to the, the explaining it, painting it. That's everything. Now, it does look better when the sponge is the most wet. So, I'm just going to keep dipping it as much as I can. I'm really excited on how this is looking. I'm very lightly doing the black, just around. And see the white is still shining through, really pretty and white. I'm kind of going around the curve real carefully. That way. Oh, Lexi, that was for graduation. I can blotch. Yes. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, this is a good part. To 
together. So we were doing graduation pictures or graduation? Well, did you get it? I'm in love with those the graduation what? pictures I took. Mom, Madison took this on Snapchat at me. On the, look, I'm not touching anything. Let me see. Let me see. She took a this selfie too. She's pretty. Oh, I look at that. Hold on. Okay. You're not up. You're not even Okay. What do you think about the black? Not too that much. That looks just really enough. good. I'm missing the spots. <laughs> you got to be careful. You don't want to miss too many spots, but I don't remember. I don't want too much black. Sorry. Because I want it to be still pretty, but not dark. <laughs> I want it to have that granite effect, but I don't want it so dark that it darkens up the whole kitchen. I think it looks really good. If you see a spot you missed, you just go back. I don't know why you're, I'm doing that when I'm trying to do a video. You're jumping around laughing. You laugh too. You saw what I'm looking at. Pretty? It's Madison and then me. <laughs> no, the first one's me and then that was dumb. <laughs> okay. I look good without my glasses. Look. I know. You look like you're 30 years look. old. Let me see. Yeah, you do look good without your glasses. She she goes look, from, from her. I know. When her you glasses are on. Mad look at Madison's face. She, she looks like, like a kid. When her glasses are off, she looks like a 30 year old. I Have know, you noticed? Pretty without him. Look, look. I know, because you got those this? big old eyes. Yeah. I know what happens when y'all steal my phone. You <laughs> take videos like this. I'm not <laughs> Make sure you're videoing. Hi, I'm sorry. I'll turn it down. Just looking at these videos. Like now, these. see this corner over here kind of started getting a little dark on me. So you're not you're not right up on it, Lexi. So if you see any spots that maybe need lightened or I think everything looks good except maybe a little bit lightness over here. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. And everything else should look really good. Like everything this, else does look good. Really light cream. Yeah. Now see, I'll just blotch over that. Remember what you said. I'm a wiener. <laughs> How do you think? I think it looks better. Oh my god. Now so see that whole area needs one. Look at me in that picture. I look so bad. What do you think? Like yeah. Right there. Right there. Maybe one like right right there. Where? Right right here. Right here? Yeah. Like that? Yeah. Look at that. Now stand back and look at it. That looks like granite to me. And when I get the backsplash on, when I get the polyurethane on and it's really like um, shiny, it's going to look even better. So we will let this dry for a couple hours. And then, and this is what you're going to look like leaning over your countertop. So make sure whatever you wear and I, I really like the shirt i should have changed into my painter shirt but of course i didn't think i was going to make a mess and then i did this is the most you're going to get which is easy to wash off so we're going to let it dry and do you see anywhere else i could do it no i think it looks really good i think it looks like real like if you didn't know if you didn't know yeah you would look like tell. granite yeah yeah if you just came to my house and, and you didn't know when I get the top coat on it, you would think this was a granite countertop when it's re got that real shine to it. Yeah. And the polyurethane is going to be so shiny that you'll be able to see the reflection of the microwave and things like that on it. Plus, you're not going to see too much of the counter because, of course, people load their counters and stuff. So we'll be back in a couple hours, do another video with the polyurethane once this dries.